month 7 in the time of the eternal, month 10, day 4, 2023. Beloved brothers, I am communicating with you by this means, with all the flock of the eternal. Peace of the eternal to each one of you, in this hour and always. I am communicating, as I told you before, because several brothers have communicated with me, yesterday, regarding what has been passed through the different media, social networks and others, about the rehearsals which are the waves that will be throwing or unifying through satellites, televisions, computers, cell phones, tablets and others, in short, everything that is a means of communication and diffusion. I am not going to let you know that this is really the case today, or also on the 11th of this month, the 10th of 2023, which has also been announced that if it is not today, on the 4th, then it would be the 11th. I am not called to say if it will happen like this or not, but the Eternal has given me the unrest, this morning, that I should communicate with you regarding the fact that he had already specified and spoken about this, about the assassin waves. There is not much to explain when we hear this term. So it is the duty of each one of us to take care of ourselves, don't be with your cell phone up and down, holding it, be away from devices, especially if they are connected to the internet. Let's remember that even if they are on, off or in airplane mode, it doesn't matter, always through this devices, always, they will be listening or watching. Please cover your cameras when you are not using them, some cell phones have cameras on the front and back, as well as computers and tablets. And some advanced televisions also already have their internal camera. So, take it upon yourself to see where these are and keep them covered. On cell phones and all this, and tablets and computers, you can put where is to connect the headphones, the headphone cable, you can connect it there, then, immediately, nothing can be heard through this. But the most I want to focus on at this time is about these trials that, as, entities like FEMA and others, since they have joined forces, have come together to issue some alerts where, they say that, cell phones and all devices, including televisions, are going to be ringing. And well, we know that this and many more things are going to be happening. This should not take the people by surprise. So I call on the people of the Lord to prepare, to be attentive. The Lord does not endorse procrastination and does not endorse presumption. So, if we do not act because we say, God is going to protect us, when he has made it very clear that he is not going to do our part, then, well, we have to abide by what comes up for us. But I let you know so that. We have to use the devices at some point but we are not carrying them there, because many people put them in their pants, in their shirts, or ladies put it in their purses without any type of protection, being exposed to radiation all the time. And this is dangerous. Unfortunately, those people who were inoculated due to the situation in 2019 were inoculated in 2020, from then on, well, all of these people are going to suffer some situation. They, in their bloodstream, carry terrible situations of which the Lord has already made known several times. There is poison, there is danger, there is death in their bloodstream. Unfortunately, many of God's people who know the pro-health reform ignored this. And the consequences will come, although, well, only the Lord knows how much, right, this will cover. Simply, if you who are listening to me have done it, then go before the Lord, kneel before Him, Humble yourself with all your heart and the Lord will know, in his infinite mercy, what he will do. Let's remember David. The Lord spoke to us about this several times in these forty days. Despite his situation, that he had, of his sins and so on, the Lord forgave him, but the consequences did not stop. Unfortunately, many times we do not want to learn from the experience of others or from the advice of another person, but we have to experience it to learn. And, unfortunately, everyone who was exposed to this is going to go through very sad situations. Also people who, for some reason or another, had to take the tests via the nose. So this is also a very difficult situation for these people, at this time and onward. Not in a very strong quantity, at a strong level as those who receive the inoculation, but they will also have its effects. Also those people who, well, a family member, for example, a husband or wife was inoculated, but their spouse was not, then, in the marital situation, when both are together, this is passed from one to the other. I have many people that I know firsthand, closely, that we have been working with them in this situation, because they have tested positive, as if they themselves were inoculated and know, 
it is because their spouse has been inoculated. For these people I advise you, and for those who were inoculated as well, and those who took the test, I advise you to drink white pine tea, the pinus angulata. The pinus angulata of what is called white pine. It is not because it is white, but because it is called like that. Do a search, where you live, there, on the internet, at some point and try to get this. Because it will help you a lot so that you can minimize clots and other things that arise through this inoculation that the enemy has brought to the entire world at this hour, and that will continue to impulse. And the people of God have to see what they are going to do, if they are going to maintain themselves or if they are going to falter. Let us remember that the Laodicean state is walking in two waters. And we have to decide if we are Laodiceans or return to the ancient paths, so that, then, God can protect us from everything that is going to come to the entire world. And we find that promise there, in the message to the Church of Philadelphia, in Revelation. I also wanted to let you know, beloved brothers, that before this situation, not to protect your devices from being damaged, but to prevent you from being affected through them, aluminum foil, everything that is aluminum, is a blocker of this. So wrap your devices when you are not using them. For example, today, they said that from 2.30 to 3.30, I don't know, around there is the time that they said, we cannot trust that it is that time, we know that we cannot trust because in the enemy it cannot be trusted, then and not to call the entity's enemy, but I am talking about the devil, right? Who is the one behind all these situations of massive control that are happening in the world? So, when you are not using your devices, keep them covered with aluminum foil, and this will help you. Both computers, televisions, tablets, and cell phones. And don't be exposed to this at this time onwards. I'm not talking to you these days, I'm talking from this time onward. And I emphasize it so that it is very clear. One of the things that the Lord has let us know is that we have to go to the fields, where trees abound. So I advise you, spend a lot of time under trees, that you touch them with your hands that which is their trunk, touch them with your hands, walk barefoot at some times, in the morning, in the afternoon, or simply put a chair, for people who cannot walk much, and put your feet on the ground, your hands also on the ground. Do what they say grounding. And this is going to help a lot. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry for people who have pacemakers or defibrillators. This is a situation that greatly affects these people everything that is radiation. So these people are the ones who have to be grounding at this time. People who suffer from heart problems, people who suffer from arrhythmias, mitral valve problems, any problem with the nervous system, people who have panic attacks, all these people must be grounding. I am talking from now on, I am not talking about specific days or specific hour, beloved brothers. The enemy, through everything that is happening in the world, is giving his measure. The Lord said that, after these forty days and also in this time of tabernacles and the end of tabernacles, things were going to be very difficult. And every day it was going to be more. So we are not in time to lower our guard, but to raise it. I regret for those people who have still given themselves all the permission to still stay in the city's planning and seeing, and to see, and how the doors open for them so that they can walk on silk floor, when the Lord has energetically commanded, since 2017, his people to leave the cities. The cities are going to be invested by all this, there are going to be many situations of death, many aggressiveness, many things are going to be happening, beloved brothers. And we are not going to blame God because he does not have it, because until tired he has talked about leaving the cities. Beloved brothers, this is what I wanted to let you know. Please, let's take care of ourselves. Those who are still in the cities, who have done everything themselves, but for some reason are there, pray. Ask the Lord with all your heart to please rescue you, that he rescue you from there for his glory and for his honor. Because he knows how he is handling each situation. We have been blessed with many testimonies of people who, without having anything, the Lord has taken them out. But we have also had many, many, but many testimonies in all places, sad testimonies. Because, as there are happy ones, there are sad ones in the sense that people have gone to become a hindrance, or do not want to measure up as God commands. They do not want to be carried away by the instructions that God gives regarding what we have to do when we are in the fields. 
and, unfortunately, they want to live off of everyone. And this terrible situation, well, in some of those cases, the Lord has intervened and these people have had to be removed from these camps. Beloved brothers, the way of the Lord is serious, the way of the Lord is with order, the way of the Lord is discipline, the way of the Lord is love, but it is also truth and it is also justice. Let's not think, as many people sometimes say, oh, I can't miss this commitment I have. But, if it is with God, oh. God understands. Because God is God and He knows that we are human, and He understands. No. We always put the things of God last. It is always that, He understands. It is always that, I don't have to feel like I am indebted to the Lord. All of these are diabolical thoughts, coming from evil. And we have to get that out of our minds. We have to be more loyal to God than anything in this world, more than anything in this world, beloved brothers. So leaving this to you, beloved brothers, I hope and it is my request and prayer always for the flock of the Eternal on the wide face of the earth, that we prepare, but from now. There are other situations that are happening as well, such as the blue and white lights that they are putting in some places. We here, also have them in many places. People pass under those lights, and I know people whose entire system has gone out of control, just by passing through there, that the light hits them a little. Inclusively, even more so. Here, in Puerto Rico, we have a turtle called the hawksbill, and it comes to lay its eggs at certain times during the year. And they put these types of lights near the sea and they began to flee, to leave. They immediately contacted the lighting agency of streets and they had to change the lights and turn them back to the color they were before so that they could arrive. Today here same, in Puerto Rico, an anomaly is happening and I want to share it with you. The birds are leaving the open places and are coming to the trees, to the mountains, they are arriving in flocks. And, beloved brothers, let us remember Noah, those people who mocked them, even in the last moment that the Lord was giving them, of mercy. They saw all the animals coming in a row and entered the ark. But they continued mocking. Let us take care of ourselves, beloved brothers. Not, of, saying that we are living in the times of Noah but of practicing what those antediluvians did. Let's be careful. Let's get right with God. Let us do the will of the Lord. Let us walk after the footsteps of the Lord and that is how He, then, will be for each one of us. So, brothers, without further ado, I wanted to share this with you. Share yourselves with all those you can reach, so that it reaches and we pray. Let us unite in prayer for all our brothers in faith, friends, family, for all those people who, sadly, did not want to cling to the pro-health reform and are going through the very difficult situation of having poison in their bloodstreams. This situation is very sad, very sad, beloved brothers. But each human being is choosing their own path. The lines are dividing quickly. The line that previously seemed imperceptible is now well demarcated and will continue to be marked. So each of us has to decide whose side we will be on. I hope in Christ Jesus that we decide on behalf of life, on behalf of Christ Jesus, and be with Him until the end, even if it were at the cost of our life. It is my request and prayer that this be so. May the Lord bless us.